This is the uh, tendency, and of course, I was rolling practice test number two, question number 11. Chris and Sam buy a bookcase for $70, a storage basket for $20, and a DVD wall shelf for 5 To find the total cost, Chris writes uh, seven, the quantity 70 plus 20 plus 5, and Sam writes 70 plus the quantity 20 plus 5. Which property justifies that these expressions are equivalent, which means they're the same thing? Well, distributive property would be if I had a number that I wanted to multiply b both terms by. So if for some reason they bought five groups of this, and then one showed it this way and the other showed it this way, that's fine. I'd be happy with that. But it's not distributive property because there's no multiplying involved. They're not rewriting in a different way. It's exactly the, thing, the same except they put the uh, grouping symbols in a different spot. Now, another way to describe an association or a group would be an association. So they change the grouping symbols and all the numbers are in the same spot. That's going to be the associative property. So the answer to number 11 is going to be B. Anytime the first statement and the second statement look identical except for the associating um, symbols changing, it's associative property. Commutative property is when I can change the order of things. So if I'm doing 4 plus 5, I could commute the number 4 over here and 5 plus 4 both those things will give me 9. That's commutative. You're changing the order of things. And the addition property of equality would only come into place if you see an equal sign. There's no equal sign to this, other than, I guess, if you continued on in your own mind, you could find out that they paid $95 for that stuff. But it has nothing to do with the question. If you don't see an equal sign, it's not addition property of equality. So in this case, the only thing that they did is change the grouping symbol or the association symbol, associative property. No big deal.